Hi, my name is Corey Recker, and here today we're going to go over how to set your timers on a Magnum Tier 4A, Tier 4B tractor. Now, to set your timer on a Magnum Tier 4A, Tier 4B tractor, there's a couple ways to set timers. Your first way is with your multi armrest control panel here. You lift up your armrest here and there's a dial here with a clock icon and that's used to set your timers on the A post. So by pressing that button down once on the A post you'll see your remotes one, two, three, four and remotes up to six if you have six remotes on the tractor that you have. So by pressing that button, timer button, you can then adjust what remote you want to look at on the A post by just turning the dial. So on the A post, you'll see the number one, number two, three, and four remotes. And whatever one you select is the one that the box is highlighted black. So for instance, remote number two, you'll see on the A post, once you highlight that black and press the button once, it will then go to your, uh, what you have your hydraulic set at. For instance, remote number two for your retract and extend are both set at 100%. And then you scroll by turning your dial to the timers, which is currently set at 20 for extend and 20 seconds for retract. So if you want to change the seconds for the extend, you press the button down once and it'll bring up a uh, highlighted box around your extend timer for 20 seconds and you just turn the dial to the appropriate seconds that you want that remote to run. For instance, we'll set it at five seconds. And to accept that change, then you would press the timer button on the armrest down once again to uh, accept that change. And now your extend is set at five, five seconds. To turn that timer on and off, you'll see the clock dial on the A post has a check mark. That check mark means that the timer is currently turned on. You turn it off, you just press the button again on the armrest, and now it puts an X in that box. You press it again, it'll put it back to the check mark to turn the timer back on. To uh, bring you back to your remotes again, you can scroll over by turning the knob to the home icon and press down again to come back to your remotes. Now you can go on the Pro 700 display, and on the Pro 700 display, you press the back button and the remotes tab here. Once you press the remotes, you find at the bottom here your timers tab, and you can see that remote two that is set to five seconds. Here you can also change it as well for those that are running Pro 700 displays by pressing your extend timer and then you get the pop-up menu that shows your EHR retract five seconds. You can adjust it to, for instance, 10 seconds. To accept the change, press the OK button. And same thing for the extend. It's at 20 seconds. If you want to decrease that, you can decrease it by using the arrows. Set it to 8 seconds, press OK. And you notice that the clock doesn't have an X through it, like remotes 1, 3, and 4. So that timer is currently active. So if you press the remote ahead, you'll see the timer run down from 10 seconds all the way to zero, and then after that, then the remote will shut off. Same thing for the extend. If you bring the lever back the other direction, that remote will run for the set amount of time in seconds, and then it'll shut off again. 
Today I'm going to talk to you about another way to set your timers. You can use remotes 1 through 3 by pressing the button here on remote 3 um, and holding it. The orange light will turn on and then start flashing and then you can run your remote back for as many seconds as you want to run your remote back and then run the remote ahead for as many seconds as you want it to uh, be ahead. And then back to neutral to set for the number of seconds you want that remote to run to extend and retract your hydraulic remote. So by pressing and holding number three, the orange light will turn on and start flashing and then you would hold your remote lever back and then on the Pro 700 display, you'll see it start counting. And then you can run your remote ahead to the forward position. And then on the Pro 700, you see the amount of seconds that it's counting up to do that function. And once you're done with that, you would run, hold the remote back to neutral and your timers will then be set for the amount of seconds you held that remote back and then ahead. Just another way that you can set your timers. When running timers on a Magnum tractor, you can tell the timer is activated by pressing the number one button for your number one remote. When the orange light comes on on the right hand side, that uh, timer is active. Same thing for number two, three, and so forth. To deactivate a timer, all you have to do is press number three button again and the orange light goes off just as well as if you go to number two or number one. For those of you that are running planters or sprayers that use an orbital motor, you want to use that function. This is the icon on the left side of uh, each remote. And to activate that, you would put the remote in gear first and then press the number two button. And you'll see now on the opposite side that your orbital motor is now activated for your hydraulic remote. And that can be activated on any remote that you're intending to use. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact Jaycox Supplement and speak to our precision farming specialist, Corey Record.